button these things down. And I got customer rolled $100. Wish me luck, guys. This is going to be a fun one. A whole lot. Honestly, I didn't get a whole lot. So I got two 2009s. I got a pair, a P and a D. Let me see if I can zoom in a little better. I'll be right back. All right, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the autofocus on this thing, but it is not the best. But there's the P, and there's the D. Me and one of them are in tip-top shape, but it is what it is. 40s, guys, 241s, one's a D, one's an S, and a 46. I don't even know what it is. I, 53, a 55, 56, 57, a 58, and two 59s. Not sure what the mint marks are. None of them are key dates or anything. And I got um got this beauty here. So I know the black beauty nickel is 1959 with the improperly annealed planchet, but I mean anyway, after I'm looking at this one, I think it might be a contender. I don't know. Anybody know how to test these things? for um, the improperly, uh, improperly annealed planchets. If, if you do, please let me know in the comments. I'd really love to um, be able to test this because, I mean, even, look at it, it's got steps on it and it's a 62. It's a good good nickel with or without the improperly annealed planchet. I think it looks really cool, the color of it. Um, and, or it's a 63, not a 62. And I got a, um, I got this really cool rainbow toned. I think it was dipped in some kind of acid or something or some kind of chemical. There it is a little bit better. It looked kind of cool. I probably might toss it back, but we'll see. Thank you for watching the video. This is 3D Detecting and Coins. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button. And you will hear from us with new videos. Thank you.